Hi guys, welcome. In today's video, we are gonna learn how can we implement dark theme in our application. Here is a quick demonstration for you. We have an application here with a text view button and a switch. When I turn on the switch, it changes into dark mode. And if I close the switch, it turns back into the light mode. Now let's build the application. First, we are going to design the layout. I'll be using relative layout. You can use any layout you want. Let's create a text view with a height and width wrap content. Give us some text. Increase the text size. And set the text style to bold. And I will give this text an ID. And let's create an another text. For this text view, I will be using a dummy text. So copy and paste it. Make it below of the text. And also give this text view an ID. Now let's create a button. And I will give this button and button ID, whatever you want to give. It's up to you. Place this button below of the text. And I will change the background tint to hollow blue and text color to white. Now let's create the switch. For this simply use the switch tag and heighten with with wrap content. Give this switch an ID called mode. Place the switch at the right corner of the below of the text. Now the layout is ready. Let's go to the app folder. Go to the resources and right click on the values. New values resource file. Give this file a name and click OK. Here we will be using declare styleable attribute and type like this that I type. We will be creating two things and background color and the text color. And the format will be the color. Now let's change the color of the action bar. For that go to the colors and change these two colors. Now you can see the action bar color is changed. Now go to the style.xml file. Here we will be creating a new theme for our dark theme and add a new item with the same name that background color that you have given and give a, a color and the same name with the text color also
now let's copy the whole style section and paste it below and change the style name to dark theme and now for the dark theme we also change the colors i forget to change these two colors please change them into the black colors the dark theme what we are doing is change the white color to black color and changing the black color to a white color that means background would be the black and that all text will be the white and now we will be adding that color attribute to our layout for the background and also for the text you can also change the color of the button and other things but in this tutorial we will be only focusing these two colors Now let's move on to the Java coding part and create variables and assign it to the IDs. Remember for the switch variable we can't give the variable switch name because it's a keyword for the Java. So we'll be calling a switch. Now you can go ahead and here we will be creating an if else statement. Compare delegate dot get default night mode equal to equal to app compare delegate dot night mode yes. And we will be set the theme to a dark theme. And for the else statement, set the theme for the app theme. And here below, we will be creating a new else statement. For this if else statement, we will set the switch to checked now we can call the a switch variable and attach set on check chat listener new compound listener and we will get this is checked value in return and here we will be creating an if else statement if is checked is true we will set the night theme and if false we will set the light theme now we also want to change the text to light and night that gives a proper look to our application. Now we have to refresh the activity. For that, we have to create a reset method. For that, type reset and it will show an error. Press Alt Enter and choose the second option. This will give us an reset method. And here we will be using an intent to reset our activity now the app hour finished let's test it now guys there are other methods to implement dark theme in our application but in this method you have complete control on your app scheme colors. If you know any other better method than this, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching and I will be seeing you in the next video.